total shoulder replacement is the mainstay of surgical treatment for shoulder arthritis. We consider that for patients when they've had, um, when they've tried other treatment that hasn't worked, like cortisone injections, for example, physical therapy, rehab, and they're still continuing to have a lot of pain. That's when we consider surgery for shoulder arthritis. So there's been a lot of advancements in the field of shoulder surgery, particularly replacements and arthroplasty over the past several decades. Standard implants replicate the normal anatomy of the shoulder. You replace the ball in the socket of the shoulder with a ball and a stem that goes into the humerus, which is the arm bone with a socket and this replicates the normal anatomy of the shoulder. I would say one of the most significant advancements in shoulder arthroplasty has been reverse shoulder replacement. This implant turns the articulation around so that the cup is on the side of the arm bone and the ball is on the side of the socket. So that's what it looks like. And the advantage of this implant is that it has larger indications. So it can be used for patients who have failed previous shoulder replacement surgery, it can be used for fractures, and it can be used for rotated cuff tears. If patients have a really bad rotated cuff tear and also arthritis, this is the implant we use. More recently, we have more bone-preserving implants. These are implants that are smaller. They can be placed into a shoulder through smaller incisions, and they allow us to replicate the anatomy and still preserve a lot of the patient's anatomy and remove less bone. So for example, this is a what we call a stemless total shoulder replacement, which functions the same as a regular total shoulder. But as you can see, the difference is that this one does not have a huge metal stem. So this is a, a more bone preserving implant, and this is more modern, more recent technology. And the advantage of this implant is that it sacrifices less bone, so it's less invasive. It gives you the same type of outcome, and it also keeps some options open for future revision surgery if needed. So it functions the same, and we have the same type of thing. We have a ball on the arm bone side and a socket on the side of the, the scapula and it functions the same way. These are more of the advances in shoulder replacement surgery um, that are really benefiting our patients now.